Right. Thanks, Court. Time for show and tell on this Monday morning. I uh, heard this on the radio coming in, so okay. I had to look it up. For all you Star Wars fans, uh -huh. I think we have a few on <laughs> just staff. A few. Just a few on staff, and then all of you out there listening today. Uh, you might want to pack your bags and head to Indiana. Here's oh. why. Look at wow. this. Wow. That is nice. This is great. This is a, uh, a cornfield in Indiana. Indiana. A farmer created a corn maze with trails outlining the face of Star Wars Princess Leia. That is impressive. Yeah. He planted it this way. He didn't mow it. Really? Uh, to honor the late actress Carrie Fisher, according to the Associated Press. Uh, he designed the maze back in February, uh, more than a month after she passed away, and just planted it this past spring uh, using a GPS device. It was the way Come a lot on. of them do it. Yeah, yeah, because they're so even. I heard that they started doing this with GPS. They're not just randomly driving their tractors through. <laughs> they use a, a, it's all technical now, farming. Yeah. Uh, so the corn is all grown now, and it uh, outlines her wow. face, her distinctive hairstyle, right? She's even got the side buns. Yeah. All right. And um, a part of her upper body. Uh, he says he's a big, longtime Star Wars fan, wanted to pay tribute to her. That's uh, impressive. Yeah, it's called Goble Farms, no relation mm -hmm. uh, to me or my <laughs> family, uh, in Evansville, Indiana. If you just have to, if you want to uh, drop by up above there, it says Carrie Fisher RIP and then gives uh, the dates. The dates. Yeah. That's impressive. It's, yeah, it just is opening yeah. up this coming weekend. So if you feel like if you're heading out to Indiana or a Star Wars fan, drop by Evansville and swing by Global Farms. Very cool. Uh, walk the Carrie Fisher. Very base. cool. I yeah. got to take it. Ms. Courtney Dempsey, I must thank you and oh, your sorry. team of box toppers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the box top crew. The box, the box top, top crew. <laughs> yes, because she has passed the torch, you know, Miss Mariah. <laughs> yeah. She's outgrown the box top era. So <laughs> I have now taken over. Yeah. Thank Thank you. I'm a, there's only one. Uh, I'm telling you. Look, do you see this? Do you see the collection here? Like so it looks like a, at least probably between the two, at, at least 100. So Jacqueline Walter in uh, Sacramento. Thank you so much. And then this one does not have a name, but it is a uh, four-box oh. to go this. So thank Let's you so much. They just sent it and left it in yeah. there. So for those of us who don't have kids and yes. uh, understand the box top phenomenon, each one of those is worth like um, a ten particular cents. Ten, ten cents. Ten yeah. It goes back to your school, oh. and they get to use that. So and they use uh, it to buy like sports equipment or, or anything, anything. Uh, yeah. Books in the library, oh. uh, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. iPads, you know, down payments for iPad, all kinds of stuff, anything the school needs. And so thanks to our viewers, because um, I got a couple of these envelopes, too. Of course, my daughter came in with the most. Well. So she got a book of her choice, which she was over the moon. Wow. She, Mom, look at the book I got. Do you know what you got? Do you remember what? Um, it was a Sophia the First. Sophia oh. the First. Oh, we love Sophia yeah, the love First. Love the Sophia Disney. the First. Yes. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Outstanding. Yes. So you'll find those. They are on everything. Everything. Yeah. I've seen them on cereal, soup, uh, yes. Kleenex boxes, mm -hmm. um, you know, bathroom products. Yep. Uh, literally everything. Just look on the box. Mac and cheese. And yeah, mac and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> That's where we get most of ours. They seem right? to be mostly right? on big name, on brand name products yes. like Kraft and uh, Campbell's so and things like that. So look right for on. them on those kinds of products and just cut them out and take the labels off and just yeah. stick them aside. What, what I do is I have a little baggie in my cupboard where the cereal goes and, and I just I try to cut them off when I remember when and remember, put them yeah. in there. I think I have three right now. I, so. <laughs> <laughs> we don't usually buy a lot of, you know, Kraft macaroni and cheese. Right. But when I do buy things, I try to come out yeah. and save them for you guys. You know, one oh, tip, okay. though, because people sometimes, they, they will try to, to save up, which I totally get it because it's like this little itty-bitty thing. Right. Say, but they do expire. They expire. Oh, they do? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So There's just, a little date. When you, you have get to them, put your glasses oh, on to oh, see yeah. it. But. I don't know whose these are. <laughs> these are somebody's glasses. I don't know who's these belong to. Kind of dirty. Yes, there is an expiration. Oh, well, I'll bring them in. Got yeah. it. Yeah. Done and done. Done and done. Right, so thanks, anyhow. guys. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> Next hour, we are live uh, with a former Good Day reporter who lives in Florida. We'll check in with her and see how she weathered the storm in the Tampa area last night.